Hello, hello, beautiful beings. It is so great to be here with you. Oh, here we are. I was just letting in lost folks into the group so that we can have such a beautiful co-creative time, space, energy, diving into light language and the power of activating your channel. And I cannot wait to share this with you, share everything that has been pouring through my channel at, in preparation for this experience. And also that which has been pouring through my channel really since light language started to come online. And so I'm going to throughout the course of today be sharing, you know, really a personal glimpse into my own experience and journey into light language. And most importantly, how you can connect to and activate your channel, because I absolutely believe that each and every one of us absolutely has this capacity, has this ability. And this is just sometimes, you know, coming into sacred space, into sacred circle to have a co-creational experience where our higher self can really listen and come on board to support this awakening and activation. So as you arrive in this place and space, please say hello, drop a comment, let me know where you're tuning in from. And I would also love to know what your relationship is like with light language. And let's just say if you could rate it from one to 10, where, what number would that be? 10 being feeling really connected. Maybe you've been channeling light language uh, and have been really stepping into that expression or perhaps it's more on that side of mm, maybe I've been experiencing some activations, uh, but still feel like there's some room to grow. And so I would love to know where you are standing on that. And if you're catching this on the replay, hashtag replay, but drop in the comments. I would love to know for you where, where you are in your journey and, and anything that you would like to share, that you would like to ask, know that the, the comments are open for that so that this can truly be an experience that meets you where you are. And so for those of you that are new to me, my name is Kema and my journey with light language has really been one of the most profound and miraculous gifts of my life. It was something that was seemingly very unexpected. I didn't plan on channeling light language. I didn't plan on um, <laughs> being a, a, you know, a teacher, a facilitator, a channel of light language. And however, you know, prior to that, I was, al was already working as an intuitive channel, an intuitive healer, and was very much connected to multidimensionality in the spiritual realms. And, you know, as my higher self and guides have really laid out for me that even though my journey with light language was this gift that I did not plan, I was definitely in training up until that point to receive it. And the, the experience of bringing light language through, you know, has been one that has expanded my capacity and my consciousness so, so, so greatly. And in ways that, you know, our mind and my mind certainly couldn't have previously comprehended. And <clears throat> so really uh, with light language, it coming through my channel, there was this immediate feeling of, you know, deep emotion unlocking codes of remembrance. And we're going to talk about that more today. Codes of remembrance uh, within my own history in this lifetime and also codes of remembrance uh, in past and future lifetimes. Now my experience with, with light language has been one that has solely been building itself one upon the other. And you know, my guides have laid it out very clearly that you know, where light language started coming in was very intentional and the way that it came in was very intentional and, and the same goes for you. And so while light language came, we'll just say kind of naturally and not planned through my channel, that does not mean that that is how it comes through for everyone. 
And even after it came through my channel, I went through a light language course. And that was what really gave me the confidence and the permission to start bringing it forward in a bigger way. Because I'm not sure, I know I've heard from many of you that you know light language starts to come through or you have this desire to bring light language through and then you get caught up in the fear of actually bringing your expression forward. And whether that's just between you and you or bringing it forward um, you know, as a service and uh, maybe into your work or into your life. And so there can be so much that comes up on this journey, but again, it is such a portal for greater understanding of who we are. And, you know, I know that we hear that a lot, but truly it has given access not only to me, but countless students and clients, this, this ability to answer the questions that we felt were unanswerable and to give us access to this greater potentiality of who we are that we just weren't taught. And it also brings us into that remembrance of how powerful we are, how multidimensional we are, and that we're not alone in this multiverse. Light language is such a powerful source, not only of healing and of remembrance, but of contact and communication, not only with our own higher self, but our past and future uh, lifetimes, and also higher dimensional beings like angelics, elementals, and galactics. I'm so happy to see some comments coming through. All oh, right. Using light language for a few years, but not so confident with it. Yes, yeah, just please know you're not alone there. And anything else that if you want to expand on that, you absolutely can. And if there's any, maybe there's, you know, sometimes with the, the confidence piece, and just trust too that this masterclass, you know, my guides made it very clear the way that this, this whole experience came through is that it's here to really meet you where you are. It's here to meet you where you are and here to bring you into that next level wherever you are. And so with the, the confidence piece, there it's so interesting. And, and we'll speak to this because, you know, there can be that uh, the resistance to bring it forward out of fear, out of fear of how we will be received or if we will be received fear because when we're bringing light language through, it's not something that we know what it's gonna look like or what it's gonna sound like or what it's even gonna feel like or be like before it actually comes through. And so that can, that can trigger a part of us that doesn't feel fully confident because it's that unknown. And then there's that piece where it's so new and it can be hard for us to define and so this is where I'm really going to invite for all of us here is to really bring a value to that which cannot be 100% like proven or defined in a moment. And actually wildly validating the experiences that we're having to the degree that we're having them. So we don't need to have 100% of the knowing in order for these experiences and for your own channeled expression to be of the highest value. And the same goes for the truth and the wisdom that you receive, whether you be channeling yourself or receiving a channeling through a transmission. And I fully trust, you know, and I can just speak to my own journey. The even prior to light language speaking confidently, never mind in light language, has not been my strong suit. I have been uh, socially anxious. I have, you know, when I would have to speak in front of a group, I would just tremble and shake. And so, you know, coming into my, my power and my voice, especially within um, light language and being a channel, it has allowed for that expression to really skyrocket. And I do believe that it will do the same for you. And, and the key there is, is the is the practice which you know in in terms of today we're gonna just jump in as we are into some really powerful discussion around light language i'm then going to bring you into an activation experience that is going to work with energetic clearing it's going to work with attunement it's going to be a, a connection to your own channel and then the opportunity for you not only to receive a transmission 
but to let your body, your voice, organically move with that transmission. And from there, I will be inviting you into the level one and level two light language program that I have coming up on May 7th. So for those of you that are looking to build greater confidence in your channel, are looking to find greater clarity, are looking to just have a community where you can really feel seen and validated as so often we know, especially with light language, it can trigger all of those feelings of, of you know, will I be received in this? Will I be validated in, the, in this? Am I crazy? So on and so forth. So just to give you a lay of the land, and thank you, Jennifer, for sharing that. Let's see, Christy. It comes through for me occasionally with hand gestures and sometimes verbally. I don't want it to feel forced and it's very inconsistent. Thank you so much for sharing that, Christy. So great to see you here. Um, yeah, and so know that it's completely normal for perhaps light language to only come through. Um, maybe it's, yeah, for some it's hand gestures, some it's verbal, some it's the written. I know for myself, again, speaking of voice, even though I, when I, even when I was speaking light language, there was a part of my mind that was still telling myself that I, I couldn't do it, even when I was doing it. And so there are these different just blocks around what's possible for us based on the, con the constructs of our belief system and what we've been taught about what we're really capable of. And again, with practice, the, these gifts and these skills, and that's why I find that you know within a when, within a program environment for me that was where everything within me uh, was able to to skyrocket, and in a way not in a way that's like uh, disruptive on the nervous system. You know, we're very mindful, very mindful about that here. And I love that you were talking about not wanting it to feel forced, um, because yeah, it can be this very fluid, organic, natural experience. Um, and then as far as the, you know, the inconsistency, my, my invitation and our invitation today um, is to, to engage with the, the intentional practice of opening our channel to light language without expectation. And sometimes we, we can kind of get caught up in what we think it's supposed to be like, what we think it's supposed to look like or sound like. And at least through my experience, it doesn't come through in the way that I would have ever thought. It's so much more organic and, and, and actually and fluid in that regard. And it takes it's simply the, the, the mental okay, the mental consent to your higher self to start bringing it through. And sometimes the, the movements or the sound just have to come out first. Even if your mind is telling you it doesn't sound like light language or it doesn't look like light language, uh, sometimes it just needs to start to come out as like what seems like gibberish or what seems just like sporadic movement so that you can start to tune into that flow so that it can start to naturally and organically come through you. Thank you for bringing that forward, Christy. And anyone else that's here, I would love to hear from you where you are at in, with your relationship to light language, perhaps anything specific that you are really desiring to, to step into. All right. So let's just dive into some of the kind of foundational aspects of light language. And so those of you that are here, again, this masterclass is open to those that are already opening to light language, to their channel, and those of you who just have been knowing that you've been receiving such a deep feeling, uh, potentially through receiving activations, and you're becoming more and more aware that there's so much more to you and to life and to this existence that we, than we are readily taught and told. And we are truly only taught about such a small fraction of our of our potential and of our of our cosmic potential, of our multidimensional potential, because we are really only taught about ourselves being humans, these physical incarnations on earth, with all of this questioning around where we came from, what we're doing here, and where we're going. And I have found that when I start looping in those questions, I get nowhere. And through light language, I have been able to access these these realms these questions that we're constantly being fed like we don't know but yet the information is there 
the information is there and it brings so much peace and so much um, reassurance and hope and excitement and, you know, passion to living and to life when we, when we are in such a relationship with who we are and, and in a relationship with, with light, with the light that we are, with the light that exists within and around us. And so when we are activating our channel to light language, we're activating ourselves to the remembrance of that which we are. Because our higher selves are already fluent. Our higher selves are already fluent in light language. And so when we are coming into relationship with our light language, we are giving our consent, which is the power of choice, is one of our greatest powers in this incarnation. And so all of you that are here, you've already been active, you've already been activating that within yourself by saying yes to this experience, saying yes to showing up, consenting to opening your channel. And we're going to do that together in such a safe and supportive way. And so I really do appreciate and thank you all for being here and for being open to this experience. And so when we're coming now into this relationship of who we are, we, we have to, we hit all of these different layers because if we, what we are is truly infinite, truly powerful co-creators of our experience with the ability to channel high frequency light streams and to communicate in a way that transcends the bounds of time and space, that transcends our programs and conditions, that transcends our beliefs and our fears, this is so wildly empowering and liberating for us on this experience. And so now here we are just coming into a relationship with who we are and the light that exists, the infinite light that exists within and around us and how we then choose how to co-create with it. How we choose to co-create with it. And so coming into this relationship, right? We can, we can know, we can intuitively know, and I'm sure that those of you that are here, you intuitively know and are resonating with what I'm saying. And you know that this is possible and you know that we are so much more, but then there are these parts of us that when we start to discover and experience the moreness of who we are, we go through potentially these layers of grief because we realize that the way that we've been living is not the, the greater truth of our totality. But so this is why so much support is needed in this illumination because it gets to be our greatest gift, our greatest blessing, our greatest miracle over and over again because more and more of us just continues to come online. And this is why having such a strong and solid foundation of love and support for ourselves as we go through this becoming, this remembering of our truth, and being able to hold space for that which is illuminated. Because when we bring in this high frequency of light and this high frequency of love, that which is not a match to its vibration will inevitably come to the surface. And that which has been stored dormant in our subconscious will be brought to the surface. And this is always things that are gonna further support our growth, whether it's aspects um, of memories that are asking to be brought up to be loved and to then be transformed through our loving presence and through the safe container of light language. And then there's also the memories of our dormant gifts, of our lifetimes, of our experiences, so that we can start to piece together this greater web of who we are. And I can imagine that if you're here, you are on a journey and a path of discovery. And you know, and this is part of this incredible day and age that we are in, is that we are in this time of radical transformation. As you all likely know, so much is coming to the surface as our discoveries and our learning and our truth are meant to be coming from within. Coming from within. And it's this reclamation of the, our history and our future that has not been written, that has not been written into the scrolls, written into the teachings of the mystery schools, but rather stored within, like not in that masculine side, but in the feminine, 
which is <clears throat> the memories that are stored in our inner world. And we are bringing back the value in the memories that are stored within our inner world and we're allowing them to emerge and we're assigning them value. We're assigning them value because that is something that has been lost for so long. We've only been taught to trust and rely on that which has been written. And so here we are allowing for those gaps to come forward. And it does, it takes a courageous soul, but I know that those of you that are here have been doing the healing work, you've been doing the self-love work, you've been doing the spiritual practices. And so now it's, it's that, that safety of a container that allows for these beautiful gifts and the moreness of who you are to really come through. And in whatever way that is coming through for you now and able to then really expand into that next level of your channel. So beautiful. Stacia, it comes through sometimes for self-healing when I really need it and sometimes through singing. How beautiful, how wonderful. Yes, light language is so powerful when it comes to self-healing. I have found that that is one of the most beautiful ways that it comes through. It comes through any time that we are in need of healing. And it can also come through at times where we need those extra remembrances of our truth. It can come through when we see yeah, how we start to forget who we are. And it can also, again, serve as this means of communication as we start to expand even deeper into relationship with our higher consciousness and angels and guides or mirror work. I don't want to force it either. It's still new. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, definitely celebrating you for bringing it through. And mirror work is actually a super powerful way of starting to connect with your channel. Because you will, you know, when you start to notice um, even just subtle energetic shifts that will start to take place, and it can be pr quite profound, and, and really coming into that intimacy of witnessing yourself, right? Witnessing yourself as the channel. And that certainly helps with, with the breakthroughs because it's allowing for our mind to conceptually see that which is happening and that which is moving through and, and starting to work with that part of our mind that wants to negate our experience. Because the, our mind will. And so this part of us that truly knows is the one that, get, that gets to lead the way and we're gonna really call that part of ourselves forward. Yeah, thank you for sharing that and really celebrating you for bringing through your voice. You know, something that I do want to share is like, I never had a, you know, a singing voice. I was never musically inclined. And so if there's anyone that thinks that you need that in order to channel, you absolutely don't. This, it, it, you know, it amazes me at the sounds that come through and the tones that come through and, and you know, the, the piece of me that, you know, would be insecure or would be self-conscious about my voice and how I sound or how I look you know, I, I've really learned and kind of trained myself to, to let that part take a back seat. And, and this is what I'm going to invite you forward to just tune in with within yourself, which is your why. And your why gets to really be your guiding light on this journey. Why is it that you desire to bring light language through? Clearly, confidently, for yourself and others. And I would welcome you to drop that in the comments, whether that's a, a statement or a few words. And you know, I know for me, I very early on when I wanted to keep my channel quiet, when I didn't want to share, I didn't, I had all of these things. I didn't want to add one more thing to my offerings. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't want to like call any attention to myself. I was afraid of if I would lose clients or if people wouldn't trust me anymore. Like I had so many fears bubble to the surface. And, and also the fear of not only my expression, but so much emotion was pouring through. I would just, you know, tears would stream down my face. It was something that I couldn't control. So I didn't want to. <laughs> I definitely didn't wa like want to as my as my initial urge to bring it through. But you know, my higher guidance was so clear, you know, that it would be a disservice to uh, to keep it quiet because it was the truth of my experience and something that I've always been, you know, very much devoted to is is authenticity and and wanting to share. Um, the, the authentic truth of my experience, whether that be, you know, just in life or in, you know, this greater spiritual context. And so 
for me, my why was who I get to liberate in that same way. Each time that I show up, you know, embodied and expressed in my light language channel, I know that that is giving others that permission. And whether that's just through the ripple, the energetic ripple, or through the, the actual physical presence. And to me, that is what I want to see more of on this planet. And that's how much I truly believe in the power of light language and the power of us being you know, clear, confident channels and being fully embodied and expressed in our multidimensionality. And that gets to be so unique for each and every one of us, right? Just because you open your light language channel does not mean that you have to get on Instagram and start doing reels, right? But <clears throat> it's, going to, it's going to be woven into your life in your own authentic way because truly it is who you are. And it's starting to bridge this concept that light language is this out there thing and really bringing it back home and acknowledging, no, this is, this is a part of who I am. And now as a multidimensional being who really honors truth, who honors authenticity, who, who wants to pave the way for what's possible for human consciousness and all of these things that we, that we have not been told that we're capable of. And so if that is within you, if that is within you, you get to allow light language to be your own authentic expression. It can look any way that you want it to. And again, even if it is just between you and you, you are still casting a ripple, an energetic ripple, and you're still impacting your life and, and many lifetimes where your voice, your truth, your spiritual multidimensional essence was not able to have its outlet. So beautiful. I'd like to bring it through for my own healing and spiritual connection and communication. Beautiful. Deepen my remembering connection to myself and others. I love these. Keep them coming. And so this again gets to be that guiding light for you. And especially when you start to hit resistance and you start to hear it hit that voice that says, you look weird or people are going to think you're crazy or is this really happening? Like this is where you get to come back to. This is my why. This is what I truly care about for myself. And this is when I'm, you know, 80 and I'm looking back on my life, I can feel rest easy in my heart knowing that I didn't hold back, knowing that I didn't let the, the fear dictate what I was capable of. And I allowed myself to start to lean into these edges and, and learn how to, you know, navigate, you know, the ego and the mind that starts to keep us in these you know, these comfort bubbles and we get to say, I'm okay with expanding into the moreness of my identity and supporting myself as over time, I start to continuously peel away those layers of that which I am not, that which I have been told I am, but is no longer true and start to step more fully into this greater consciousness of who we are. And this is the time that we're in. We are opening to our cosmic consciousness. We are opening to the fact that we are multidimensional beings. We are in a wildly powerful and transformative time, if not the most in human history. And we are so, so, so lucky to be, have been incarnated at this, on this earth at this time, even if, yes, we are dealing with immense polarity and we are dealing with immense chaos. This is, this is our beacon. This is our beacon as we navigate. And so we get to allow it to be about ourselves and we get to allow it to be about something greater and about who gets to be impacted, not only right now on earth, but the future generations. And so when light language is coming through our channel. It's always coming through the channel and the portal of our higher self. Our higher self knows exactly what to do, exactly what to do. If we're receiving a transmission, our, our higher self knows how to receive those light codes and the information that is contained, and it knows how to distribute it within our unique energy body. It knows how to distribute it where, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, <laughs> energetically, spiritually, it knows exactly how to distribute that and exactly how much. 
And so it's again bringing in this remembrance that we are not alone. We are not alone in this experience and we have this beautiful force and source that is supporting the opening and the expansion of our light language channel and in the way that is going to be most sustainable for our human. And this is something that I learned really early on. This is something I learned really early on as when light language started coming through, it was really a series of training and a series of training for, for me to not get attached to getting all of the information at once and really trusting that my higher self was bringing it slowly through. And so there's just know that there is a higher consciousness, a higher intelligence working with you to, to support the most sustainable um, embodiment and expression of your unique light language. And so when it's coming through your higher self, you, you could just be receiving light language from your higher self. You can also be receiving light language from galactic realms and the beings and the group consciousnesses that reside there. And so these would be what we would call interdimensional beings, sometimes known as higher dimensional or extra dimensional. And it is the, and the highly spiritualized beings that are living in less density than we are on earth. They, the ones that are communicating through the highest benevolence and through our light language channel are those that are more embodied in love, the frequency of love, truth, compassion, understanding, and they're able to see us and our reality and life on earth through a much more fluid perspective. And this is so, so, so helpful for our life on earth as we know that here on earth, things are very dense. And so when we have these opportunities not to bypass our experience, right, but to just give it some breathing room and to see that our experiences here, when we start to connect with light language, are more malleable. They're not as set in stone as they appear to be. And so when we're working with light, it is transcending the bounds of time and space. And so it's giving us access to these higher levels of consciousness, our own higher dimensional selves, our our galactic family, as well as connecting us with the angelic realm, archangels, guardian angels, as well as the elementals. And so this can include, you know, fairies love communicating with light language. We can also work with elemental light language. You know, we can channel and we can co-create with, with aspects of nature. With aspects of nature, it's quite miraculous. And, you know, truly we hear mostly about, you know, light language coming through the galactics, the angelics and the elementals. And I'll be bringing through some light language to, to reflect the, the different flavors and frequencies of these energies so that you can start to experience them within yourself. But we can also channel light language. Like I've channeled light language from my inner child, from future versions of myself, other lifetimes different ancestral streams, even, um, you know, ancient civilizations like Lemuria and Atlantis, Egypt. So this is something within the light language course we're going to get deeper into because there is a little bit of prep that's needed to, to really hold space for that energy to come through. But again, it's giving us access. What you experience when opening your light language channel, especially to ancient civilizations, it's, it's of your own lifetime lineage. What's coming through for you is, is very unique to you. And it's going to be unique to your story. And again, it's like, it's like creating this beautiful map, this beautiful web of your multidimensionality. And light language gets to be this portal um, of exploration and discovery for that. So... So coming through the galactics, the angelics, the elementals, again, sometimes through time and space, again, this will always incrementally build unique for you. We can bring light language through for self-healing, for activating particular energies, for bringing us into that deepened remembrance of who we are, 
and as a portal of, of contact and communication. Sometimes I like to think of light language as being a multiverse translator so that beings and consciousnesses can communicate in the same language without being bound by time, space, dimension, etc. And we now, as our human consciousness is evolving and growing and expanding, we have this ability too. And that's why so many souls across the globe are becoming more and more aware of, of their channel. And so now it's up to us and our free will choice to say, I'm willing to meet my resistances. I'm willing to meet my fears. I'm willing to step beyond my perceived limits. And I'm giving myself permission to trust. And so <clears throat> this is where I'd like to just speak to some of the common resistances that I see because, you know, I want to obviously get into the activation and, and allow for each of you to have your own unique experience. But I really like to lay out on the table, you know, if we are all natural channels and if we, our higher selves are all fluent in light language, you know, there's reasons why we're not bringing that forward. And so if there is, I know that some of you have been already expressing in the comments, but I would like to know if there's any particular resistances that you have been bumping up against or any particular narratives that your mind has been telling you about light language or about yourself as a light language channel and potentially what, what could happen, you know, and, and where I'll start this conversation is around trust. <clears throat> and knowing that in this this lifetime and so many lifetimes right we've been given a lot of reasons not to trust as we know and so we form these layers of protection and we've been given reasons not to trust the dark we've been given reasons not to trust the light we've been given reasons not to trust power we've been given reasons not to trust love and this has been such a big part of my own journey as, you know, believe it or not, my greatest resistance was trusting love. And light language has by far been the greatest catalyst for me coming into right relationship with love, coming into right relationship with light and regaining my trust in these sources that exist within me, that exist within you, and that exists within the multiverse. And so when we're channeling, we are, it requires so much trust because our mind cannot predict what's going to come through. Can we set an intention that helps to frame the experience? Absolutely. And this is, this is one of the, the great ways to work with that part of us that's scared of the unknown, that's scared of what we might sound like and that we can't control the expression and what will potentially happen through the expression. Even if we can tell ourselves it's highly benevolent, it's all love, it's all light, there's still a part of us, I know for myself, that was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, right? You know, I don't know that. I don't, I can't, how can I trust that? I can't trust, I've never been able to trust that in the past. And, and so, but where the trust comes is between you and you, right? It's, it's between you and you, and can you trust yourself? And can you trust yourself as a channel? And can you trust that you know what to do with light, that you know what to do with love, that you know what to do with your power? And so when we are opening our channel, we are, we are opening ourselves to that which has yet to be defined. And we're allowing for an organic, natural, pure stream to flow through us and then to be expressed through us. And so this requires a lot of trust to, to consciously open, receive, and express. And so just really being there for that part of yourself that's, that, that might be going through that. And, and here in lies, again, that devotion to yourself that says, I'm not going anywhere. I'm remaining safely connected to you through this experience, both before, during, and after. 
because there can be a, this layer of fear as we're talking about like what blocks actually are, right? And in my perspective, they are all protection mechanisms. They are protecting us from a core fear and underneath that core fear, there is likely a deeper belief. And so when we hit these resistances or we hit these blocks, we get to ask ourselves, where am I scared of moving forward? What am I scared of? What am I scared will happen, could potentially happen? So we ask that, that layer, what are you protecting me from? And this is stuff that we'll go into in deeper, in deeper detail inside of the program. And so, so here we get to, to lay these, these fears out on the table so they can be seen, so they no longer are dictating our reality. And when we start to open ourselves up organically in this way, you know, even in regards to this, you know, me being here and offering this masterclass, I can have some notes about what I know that wants to come through and be shared, but I'm fully trusting in my channel and my expression and fully trusting in a way where I don't have a full script and trusting in a way that if I say something stupid or I, I you know, I mess up my words that I'm not going to persecute myself. I'm not going to judge myself right? Even if some of you do, it's okay, because I've, I've affirmed to myself, like, this is the way that I'm going to flow and that feels the most authentic for me. And so I'm going to support myself no matter what the outcome. And that's going to what I'm going to invite you into as well. And this is how you start to recode through your own living presence, through your own living presence, your own devotion to yourself in each and every present moment. And this, doesn't, this isn't about being perfect, right? This is all part of the learning. This is all part of the experience. And so what we fear will happen, right? Fear of rejection, fear of how we will be perceived, um, fear of ending up alone because of us being in our truth. And so here we have to really reconcile with that and say, is it worth sacrificing my truth based on all of these fearful projections. And ultimately, as we know, when we're more in our truth, we attract more resonant souls. We feel more fulfilled. We feel more aligned with our purpose. And again, your purpose doesn't need to be like being a light language channel. It is what is giving you access to the, the greater potential of who you are, however you want to channel that and co-create with that in your life. And so as we start to unpack these fears, and especially the ones around rejection, it's always coming back to where are you rejecting yourself? Where are you judging yourself? And where can you step into that next level of accepting your authentic expression that is not the cookie cutter mold, that is not what has been said or done or expressed before, and really giving that greater value in your life that which perhaps doesn't make sense but here's the such the interesting thing about light language we can talk all the time about you know yes like and we'll talk about this too like about what can be translated and you know what what cannot right based on where we are in our consciousness but there's this shift that I'm also going to invite you into which is Rather than focusing on, okay, there's so much of light language that cannot be defined and cannot be known, but in actuality, it is giving us access to the unknown. It is giving us access to that which has been lying dormant. It is giving us access to greater truth. And so it's not so much about uh, can this be translated because what it is activating and bringing forward within us is exactly what we need. It is making the unconscious conscious. It is making the unknown known that is specific to our path and specific to our growth and our awakening and our expansion, all in for each of us in unique ways. And so really it is how are you supporting yourself through your inner wor words, through your inner world? How are you supporting yourself with more of you coming forward? because it is more of you. You are already more of you right now, right? The moreness of you already exists, but now you're coming into relationship with it and coming into relationship with your own power. 
And so this is, this is the, you know, another one of those resistances that we don't even realize because of the ways that maybe we've misused power, those in our life have misused power, people in positions of power, you know, misusing power. And so we have all of these stored memories around misuse of power. And so when we start to step into more of our power, that can be triggered. And so know right here, right now, that your power is yours to be defined to and through you. And that you know when you're opening your channel to light language, it is pure, it is love, it is bypassing the conditions and the programs. And it is a pure source. And it is not for the love of power, but for the power of love. And that is the remembrance over and over and over and over again. Your power, your light, your love is all being defined through you. It's no one else's expression. And it is not even your past selves. And this is something that we can carry so much baggage forward when, especially in a lot of the uh, kind of religious programming around, you know, being bad and sinning and we can like come up against something that is pure love and pure light and we can just start to feel like we are so unworthy and we can start listing off all the bad things we, we have done and why we're not to be trusted and why we can't be trusted with our power. But again, this is part of the path and this is part of the journey and this is part of your devotion, right? So that you can recode that, that within yourself because you know exactly what to do with this energy. You know if, if it's to be held and to be experienced, you know how to infuse it into your life. Based on the purity of your intent, based on the purity of your why, based on the, the purity of your choice. Hmm. Sometimes it comes more naturally and sometimes it sounds more like I'm mimicking another's light language. So it feels forced and I'll stop myself. I'm just not sure if it's real or forced. Yeah, and you know what? <clears throat> I love this. This is, this is certainly common. So either way, either way, whether it's real or forced, it doesn't matter. Because to me, this is just another protection mechanism saying that you need to know in order to open more, saying that you need to know before you trust it more, saying that you need to know if it's real or forced, because it could be you could cre create any story, any narrative. You cannot copy or mimic someone's light language from where I'm sitting. It would be near impossible. And so knowing that that is coming through you. And sometimes it feels so natural that that even wears us out because it is natural. Um, but I would say, yeah, Christy, the, you know, that's just something I'd invite you to lean into, that this narrative, you know, is, is stopping you from fully sharing. Because if this narrative didn't exist, is it real or is it forced, you would just be bringing it through. And so the question really is, why am I afraid to just bring it through? And if you're bringing it through and your intention is that it is authentic and a pure expression, so it is. And trusting in the level of that intent. And sometimes at first, again, it is just jibber jabber. It seems like it's jibber jabber. You know, the, the greatest, you know, like this is something that I've learned through, you know, the ways that my guides have taught me even to, sh to teach others light language. And, and you're going to do this today. It's literally just letting sound come out of your mouth that makes, seems to make no sense. And that's how you know, I started to really bridge these worlds as well. And we start, to, uh, we start to allow then for the natural expression to come through that. It's almost like we have to trick our mind and be okay with sounding weird and sounding silly and sounding like things don't make sense because that's going to be the portal to the, to the, our greater authentic expression. I also don't know the meaning when it comes through and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. And I, and I also on, you know, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, 
I did a, a whole live on, on translating. So if you want to go deeper into that, I will definitely recommend that to you. Uh, but we'll talk about it here. <clears throat> um, so there's, there's really uh, two main perspectives. One is you don't need to know the meaning. Sometimes it is just a pure co-creation. And this is something that, you know, I, and I've shared this a few times. I have these, uh, this beautiful, um, these beautiful Syrian aquatic beings that I channel. They're group consciousness. And when I first started asking questions about who are you, where are you from, what are your names, and they so lovingly <laughs> schooled me on the power of just being in the co-creational moment and not needing to define and just sharing in love, sharing in the energetic transfer and allowing myself to enjoy that experience and know that just in the enjoyment of that experience, um, an activation is occurring. And those are the kinds that, you know, maybe in the moment there isn't a logical meaning but as you then embark into your waking reality, you, and you know this from Sovereign Sorceress, right? That life reflects back to you that internal shift or that internal activation that took place. And you start to see things differently or new things start to show up. And so that's where you get to see the power of that, that co-creation in real time. Now that said, and this is something, again, we'll go deeper into in the light language program, um, but you, you do have also the ability to, to translate and decode um, if that is the co-creation that is occurring. And so even today, um, you'll be invited into that just to be aware of your inner psychic senses. And it's no more complicated than that. And, you know, I know, Christy, you ex uh, experienced this quite a bit in Sovereign Sorceress, but even for those of you that... Um, we're not inside that container. This is something we all have access to. And this is, this is basically what do I feel? Sensations, emotions, maybe you feel energy moving in particular ways. And again, it doesn't need to be defined. Like Because you feel a particular sensation or you feel energy moving in a certain way, you do not need your mind to know why it's doing what it's doing. You just observe it. You just observe it. You notice the feelings, then you notice what's coming to life behind closed eyes, any visuals, any colors, any images, any fluctuations of light. Again, you don't need to know what they mean. In time again, they will reveal themselves and unpack themselves. And we trust that exactly what is being revealed to us is exactly what is supposed to be revealed to us. And it's, it's working with our subtle energetic body. The third way is through inner listening. And this could be sounds, tones, words, messages, light language, it could be things that we, we've heard before, it could be things that we've never heard before, uh, because again, we're, we're opening ourselves to co-create with different consciousnesses that operate their consciousness in different ways than we do. And so if we have no contextual reference, we have no contextual reference, but through time, we start to get to know it. Through time, we start to get to know it, and the more that we show up and we practice and we have fun with the practice, we, we become, uh, we come into a deepened relationship with these subtleties, with our, with the wisdom of our inner world. And, and just like, you know, Christy, um, and for those of you that have like, can likely relate, you know, when you start, um, as a channel or you start, uh, with your intuition or you start learning about your psychic senses, of course, there's always that part of your mind that's saying, oh, not me, but then you do it and it is you because we all have these extra senses. We just weren't taught. We weren't taught that this is a part of who we are. We do not, we are not limited to our physical senses. We are extrasensory beings that have inner psychic senses to be able to translate, again, the gaps, the things that are not written, the things that are not told, the things that are not taught, the things that are not portrayed in physical reality. We've got to have a way to access the greater truth, to read between the lines, and it is through our extrasensory abilities. What do I feel? What do I see? What do I hear? And then lastly, what do I sense? What is my overall sense of this experience and learning to trust that? So when I'm, when I'm channeling, if I'm not stating a particular intention of who I desire to channel, why I desire, like what is the intention, you know, that's kind of laying out that framework, 
I, I'll just pay attention to my psychic senses and whatever information is coming through. And sometimes there's a transmission that is just coming through. It's a beautiful co-creation. That's a lot of my morning practice. And then sometimes I'll bring through a transmission and I'll get some key words, I'll get key feelings, and then I'll just allow for my channel to, to flow. So it's really a both and. Um, and. And just because you can't, and again, this is where we're gonna really, uh, we're really being called to value that which cannot be 100% defined. And trust that which cannot be 100% defined. Because what your experience is, whatever your experience is, is valid and it is real and it is really happening and it is part of your own personal building blocks. So the answer is you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to anything. It's just allowing for what your organic experience is and giving yourself that permission to observe through your inner psychic senses and validating your experience validating your experience, validating your experience, validating your experience. Very patient with the part of you that says, is this real or is this forced? Should I know? What was this? Where did this come from? Patience with that part and saying, wow, thank you for bringing that experience through. Saying this when my mind gets in the way. Yeah, thanks for that reflection. Yep, and it's just patience. It, it's like that part of the mind it, it doesn't need to go away in order for you to be a clear and confident channel. Your fear does not need to go away in order for you to be a clear and confident channel, for you to open to your light language. And these are, again, all of these barriers, these blocks that we put in our own way to keep us from really embodying and expressing our truth. So just notice where, where we, you know, you're it, like putting in these blocks, all of these reasons why you can't fully trust or validate right now and bring that expression forward right now thank you all for sharing yeah so beautiful okay <clears throat> so I feel like that covers some of those common resistances and how we can move through them and you know and this is too like what will surface as we, as we do this, it's like we'll get these memories, we'll get these narratives um, that, that, that keep us from really stepping and expanding into that. And what I want to also bring into this conversation is because so often um, the, those fears or those shadow aspects can be illuminated, right? And, and that's for a reason. That's also not random that these mechanisms of your mind would be laid out for you to see. And so we thank the power of the illumination for laying them out where we can see them. And we also want to step into the knowing that even though the, in this lifetime and in many lifetimes, it hasn't been safe to speak our truth, right? And we can come face to face with that, with those memories. Again, first and foremost, you are the one creating safety within you. And secondly, there have been many lifetimes and this one included, where you have been celebrated and appreciated and valued for the truth of your expression, for the truth of your expression of your multidimensionality, of your intuition, of your gifts, of your insights. And so we want to bring that forward as well, not always just focusing on all these lifetimes we think we need to clear in order to be a clear and confident channel but bringing through those codes of remembrance of where we have been celebrated as our true self, embodied and expressed in our true self, and allowing for whatever comes through our channel to be naturally shared, whether that's in a moment of intimacy with ourselves, whether that's an emotion, whether that's, you know, light language, whether that, whatever it is, knowing that that gets to be celebrated. Celebrating the great mystery revealing itself to and through us. And that is our greatest authenticity because it has not been tainted by the programs. It is not someone else's opinion. It is what is coming through. 
And when we are grounded in our source, which we're going to do together, in the present moment, giving our consent, so it is. Nothing else is getting through. This is why light language is so powerful because it bypasses the mind. Our mind can certainly, you know, do what it wants to do all around it, creating all kinds of hubbub. But this is why we just have patience with the mind and know that the mind is not the dictator here and does not get to control your reality. We have to, we have to treat it like a small child, right? Hold it, hug it, listen to it, and then know that you're safely connected to, to expand. Is it possible to hear in your mind the translation of light language while the sound is coming out? Sometimes it, I don't know if I have to, it's said in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all good. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would say that I often, and again, it's not like I speak a sentence in light language. Remember that it's, they're codes. They're multidimensional codes. So it's not like it's word for word, meaning for meaning, right? Like it's not like a sentence of, light language translates to a sentence in English or in Spanish. <clears throat> there are each, each sound is packed with multidimensional information. That said, aspects of that multidimensional information will come through, right? So often, even you, <clears throat> those of you that have heard my channeling, sometimes I do. I'll, I'll speak in light language and I'll speak in English. I'll speak in light language and I'll speak in English. Um, and that's either because that's a subtle impression that I've been receiving while I've been speaking the light language or just another aspect of my channel coming through that, that wants to create an even deeper multidimensional experience within the transmission. But yeah, absolutely, you can be hearing uh, sounds and words in whatever uh, you know, language that you speak while translating. That absolutely happens. Yep. And so the, the thing that I recommend here is all, you know, always having that journal or that notebook handy so that you can write down your experiences. And then you get to continuously see, wow, this is coming through, this is coming through, this is coming through, and validating that. Such great questions. Anyone else have questions before we move forward? I'm going to lay out what we're going to move into, which is going to be our... The, the activation of our light language channel. And feel free, if you have questions in the meantime, uh, drop them in the comments. Yeah, thank you for bringing that forward. So, uh, one of the, you know, the first aspects of activating our channel is well, and we're all familiar with setting sacred space, right? Creating safe space. But it's affirming that we are connected to our source. So that the part of us that might be scared of like, where is this coming from? Or I don't know if I can trust this. Or is it really love, right? When you're setting that as your intent and you are anchoring into your own energy, your own energy source in this now moment, there is no way that anything else can come through. There is no way that anything else can come through. So the, that first step is really being intentional with your connection and trusting that your intention is how you are exercising your choice. And your choice is the portal of co-creation for your reality. So I'm going to take you through uh, a method first of clearing your space, Right? Utilizing beautiful sacred geometry and the frequency of love. Then I'm going to bring you into a connection of connecting to your source, to your channel. Then I'm going to bring through some light language. And I'm going to give you an experience of tapping into those inner subtle psychic senses. What, I, what do I feel? What do I hear? What do I see? What do I sense? And we're really going to go deep into this. And, and so I, I'm going to take you on a journey, an experiential journey. And so you'll just observe there. And these activations are not only going to be for you to experience, 
but they're going to be personally attuning you to those frequencies, to the galactic, to the angelic, and the elemental. Some you might feel more resonant with, some may feel more powerful, some your inner senses might come more to life. Again, there's no right or wrong, there's no expectation. Expectation is probably the biggest block that we face as channels. So we let go of every, all of that and we allow for a sense of play. We allow for a sense of play. We allow for a sense of uh, an open heart, right? And, and just a sense of playfulness and not attachment to what this is going to be, what's going to come through, what my experience is going to be, because you know that you're safely held in this experience to just have it. And so there will be that component. And then I'm going to bring you into one of my favorite methods. And I do want to preface this by saying, I know that many of you that are here are healers, are teachers. And so just know that this is a framework that has come through my channel. And so if you are going to share this in any way, in any capacity, I do ask that you ask my permission and always give credit where credit's due because this is something that I have been formulating for quite some time. And, and this is just that level of integrity that I wanna be held in this space. So <clears throat> we're going to then move into toning. And so toning, first and foremost, gets you in touch with the sound of your inner world, the sound of your own voice, kind of untamed and uncontrolled and just allowing for sound to come through you. This toning as well is incredibly clearing and it naturally elevates your vibration. Toning is one of the greatest ways to expand your consciousness and start to send out the signal for communication. Now from there, we're going to start to bring light language through. And I'm going to give you the, some prompts to just start to allow your body to organically move and to allow sound to organically come out of your mouth. And again, this isn't with any expectation that it's like going to be light language. You're just going to allow for movement and sound to come out. It's going to allow for sound and movement to come out however it wants to. However it wants to. And so you're just going to go with this experience and you're just going to allow for me to be your guide and know that you are fully supported by your higher self, by your beloved angels and guides in this experience so that that part of you, that, that light language, that unique language of your soul can come through you. Because I know that all of you that are here know that you have a soul. You know that you have lived before and will live again. You know that you are so much more than what you've been told. You know that more and more of you and your gifts are coming forward and coming online. This is undeniable. This is undeniable. And so now we're, we're coming into a new layer of relationship with that totality and with that truth. And allowing for the moreness to reveal itself and knowing that you are safely connected in order to allow that to occur. So again, have fun. Have fun with this experience. If you want to call your inner child, that playful side of you forward, you can. And amaze yourself. Amaze yourself at, at what reveals itself. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I will recommend, you know, sitting... I recommend sitting, but if you know that you need to lie down, by all means do that. Um, I just find that sitting upright, when we do get into some movement, will be really helpful. Uh, and sometimes lying down, we tend to fall asleep. <clears throat> but you do you. All right, so as we begin our activation, going to ask as well that your arms and legs be uncrossed. And that your eyes come to close. And if you feel 
most comfortable with your hands on your lap or resting on your body in a particular way, I want you to just let your hands fall. Let your hands fall wherever they naturally want to. Dropping in here to the natural rhythm of your breath. Allowing your breath to be your invitation into your body, into this moment, into the peace of the here and now. Dropping into the peace that you have arrived and that there's nowhere else that you need to be or supposed to be. Because you and your higher self have beautifully crafted this time. This moment has already been agreed upon, already been written. It is certainly not random that you are here. And just honoring your sacred yes in this moment. Even with whatever maybe fears or resistances you've been working with, you showed up, you said yes. You said yes. And I want you to just repeat that yes as a mantra to yourself and affirm and exercise your free will that says, yes, I consent to this experience. Yes, I consent to my channel opening to light language. Yes, I consent to the highest benevolent streams of consciousness to move through my being. I consent to the highest form of love. I consent, I consent, I consent. Yes, 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 yes. And just feel even with these words, the inner shifts to your energy body. And I want you to notice the support that's beneath you, whatever's holding your body. And I want you to then tune in further still to the presence of Mother Earth. Acknowledge how unconditionally held and supported you are here in this moment. And exactly as you are. You don't have to be anyone else. You don't have to be more spiritual, more perfect. You don't have to know more. You don't have to have more figured out. Nope. You in this moment, perfect, worthy, unconditionally held and supported. Notice what that does to your body. Right? Notice these little shifts in feeling. Start to build that muscle of your inner psychic senses now. What you feel, what you see, what you hear, what you sense. And now with the support of your higher self, we're going to move through a energy clearing and upgrade. And so we're inviting awareness to your heart. And 
And I want you to envision a pinhole of light at your heart. And whether you can visualize that pinhole of light or just imagine it, both are equally as valuable. And then I want you to envision another pinhole of light in some proximity near the first. And then I want you to envision another pinhole of light in proximity to those first two. And I want these pinholes of light to now connect to one another, wherever they are, whatever shape they create. And I want you to observe this illuminated shape that is now the start of a powerful web of sacred geometry. And so I want you to now visualize this shape slowly multiplying. And so new pinholes of light start to awaken all throughout your heart. And then lines of connection naturally start to weave their way to connect each of these pinholes of light. And so you'll notice that it's not just linear, right? It starts to become multidimensional. Right, there, it becomes a 3D structure, a 4D structure, a 5D structure. And these pinholes of light now start to carry throughout the entirety of your being. Know that your higher self is assisting in this process. So you don't have to try, right? you don't have to do. These pinholes of light just light up. They expand from your heart down through your trunk, through your whole back body, through your spine, through your abdomen, through your hips and pelvis, all the way down your legs to the soles of your feet. And then all the way through your shoulders, down your arms to your palms and fingertips. And then upward through your neck and throat your whole head space, throughout your brain, all of these pinholes of light, and then these beautiful threads of light connecting each and every one of them. And these pinholes of light and the threads that connect become more luminous with each breath that you take. And so here there is the sacred grid, the sacred geometry. And the sacred geometry now starts to expand past your physical form. So these pinholes of light anchoring into your energy field, into your aura into your mental self, your emotional self, your physical self, your spiritual self. These pinholes of light are not bound by physicality. They get to move into your multidimensionality. So it's as though this beautiful sacred geometry has now expanded from your heart and now is fully surrounding your body. And this grid of light is moving through, clearing out that which you no longer need, distortions, illusions, baggages. And it's attuning you to a new frequency and a new frequency that is again your own. It is unique to you, natural to you, authentically you. And 
sometimes you may even feel through your inner senses this feeling of greater clarity. This pristine quality. And so just observe this process as this this light-infused sacred geometry works its magic with your energy body. Clearing, uplifting, right, and in tuning you to your most clear and loving state your most truthful state, right? As if to restore your unique divine blueprint, to restore the clarity, the truth, the love. And so this beautiful grid stays now fully activated through this experience. Right, and we have now set the space. Right, we have set the space. Your personal resonance field, your heart's coherence for this beautiful co-creation with your light language channel. And so now you're going to activate your channel by bringing your awareness down about a foot beneath the soles of your feet. And again, here I want you to imagine another beautiful sacred geometry ball filled with light. And this is your earth star chakra. And this is what connects your unique vibration and energy to the crystalline grid of Mother Earth. And I'm going to invite you now to breathe the energy of your earth star up through the soles of your feet, all the way up through your legs, all the way up into your heart as your heart opens to receive this energy. And now you're going to exhale the energy from your heart, that beautiful love and light, all the way down your legs, through the soles of your feet, into your earth star. Beautiful. And now bringing an awareness up to your soul star about a foot above your crown. And again, visualize or imagine this beautiful ball of sacred geometric light. There might be infused with colors. Just however it is that it shows up for you is perfect. And then with your next inhale, you're going to invite the energy of your soul star, that which connects you to your higher self, to the higher realms, to your multidimensionality. You're going to inhale that life force through your crown all the way down and into your heart. Again, your heart opens up wide to receive this life force. And exhale the love and the light of your heart all the way up through the top of your channel, through your crown to your soul star. After that's complete, bring an awareness all the way back down to your earth star. And I want you to now inhale that life force from your earth star all the way up, up, up through your heart, through your crown to meet your soul star. And now on your exhale, I want you to just imagine that all of this energy from your soul star is then falling down and around your physical body, really coating your light body. And then it circles back down to your earth star. And so again, at the bottom there, no rush, inhaling from your earth star all the way up through your central channel, through your heart, through your crown, to your soul star. And then exhale, let that energy wash all the way down and around outside your body, all the way back down to your earth star. Beautiful. Now again, awareness to your heart. And I want you to take a nice deep inhale. And on your exhale, I want you to open your mouth, stick out your tongue, and let out an exaggerated exhale. And I want you to do that again. 
breathing up, letting your heart fill up. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, exhale. And now gently closing your lips. Again, with awareness at your heart space, I want you to inhale. And this time as you exhale, I want you to hum on your exhale. So it's mm, with focus on your heart. So we're going to do this <clears throat> together. And again, I'm not there where I can hear you, but I really invite you, if you have any resistance to sound, that this be an opportunity to break through, to hear yourself in this moment, as this is an essential part of the process. And I want you to do this a few more times. And each round, you might find like sometimes there's a little shakiness, or sometimes it's not as long, or sometimes it's not as loud. This is part of it as well. It's not supposed to be any particular way other than what it is. So just continue to allow for that humming, which is toning, to start to move through your heart in this way. And notice through your inner world what you feel, if there are sensations, maybe emotions, maybe visuals, maybe other messages coming through. And again, there's no expectation. It might just be you having the experience with the sound. The next time that you exhale, I want you to shift your awareness down to your sacral, so either your physical or energetic womb space. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to inhale your focus there, and then exhale, send the, the humming or the toning through that region. And we'll do this a few times. And I encourage you to allow that sound to increase. And if some of you are starting to feel compelled to let light language come out here, please don't stop yourself, right? If you feel like that, that humming, you need to like open your mouth and let your tongue move or let out other seemingly sporadic sounds, please do that. I'm going to encourage you into that even more so in a bit, but I just want you to know not to uh, stop yourself if that's what wants to come through. at the bottom of your next exhale with the focus at the womb space you're going to bring an awareness up to your third eye and you're going to seemingly breathe into your third eye center and with your exhale send your toning and your humming through your third eye And really allow for the sound to take up space. You'll likely feel shifts in your vibration. And just notice if there's a part of you that needs to be reminded that it's safely connected as you do this. right? Because your energy body starts to become less dense. And reminding yourself that you are safely connected safe to release the density. Okay, now we'll take a moment of pause. I'm going to bring through an angelic, galactic, and elemental transmission. We're going to start with the angelic. 
Again, a beautiful consent to receive this transmission. You telepathically consent. Your higher self is always listening. And you can just remain in a gentle observance of your inner world. Right, like you were watching a multi-dimensional movie through your inner psychic senses. Just experiencing yourself moment by moment. Moment by moment. You get to allow everything to naturally reveal itself to you. And so herein comes galactic Gayanta Kurashum Takara Lam Tata Yata Kurasham Tata Yata Kurasham Ta Krom Taya Takara Sham Taku Shayan Taku Shayan Taku Takara Sham Ta Takara Um Tayan Takara Shayan Tayan Takurashum Taku An Takara Um Ta Krom Taya Takurashum Takura Shum Takura Shum Takura Shum Atakara shum ti 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 atakara a ay atakara shum ka. And for the elemental, atakara shum atakara an ta 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 atakara um kram ta atakara u atakara u atakara an ta atakara um ta atakara um ta atakara an ta atakara shum tu atakara u an ta atakara ay atakara ay atakara ay atakara ตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้นตะกระอุ้น
You might feel your fingers start to tingle. And I want you to now allow for that energy that is pulsing through your fingers as this fluid energy continues to pour through your crown, through your crown, through your heart, down your arms, to your fingertips. Let those tingles lead the way. Let your fingers start to move with this energy. Let the energy move through your fingers. Let the energy actually move your fingers. And you might find that your hands now wanna lift up off of your lap. And I want you to just allow for your fingers to move, let you, this energy move your hands, move your fingers, move your hands, move your fingers. Feel how it is naturally doing this. And I want you to just allow your fingers to move with this energy. And it might just seem like you're doing nothing, but I want you to just go with it. Go with it, go with it, go with it. And you might find that your arms get more involved. You might find that your body starts to get more involved, right? Let yourself move as it wants to move. Sometimes light language can even feel more like a dance, but I want you to just allow your fingers to move with this energy. And continue to breathe. Let your fingers move. It doesn't matter if you're making it up. I want you to just allow your fingers to move. And if sounds want to start to come out, I want you to let those sounds come out. But that is not a requirement at this point. Continue to allow this energy to move. And if you feel like you lose it, right, just come back to that place with your palms open. And again, consenting to your higher self that you're opening your channel to light language, to flow through your crown, through your heart, out through your hands, out through your fingertips. And then again, let that sensation lead the way. Let the energy move you. Let the energy move you. And just extending that pure gratitude that your soul, the energy of your soul is able to move itself through you in this way. And now it's up to you, you can keep your hands moving. But I want you to start making some sounds with your mouth, like rolling your tongue, sticking out your tongue. And I want you to start making weird sounds. I want you to start making weird sounds, like blah, 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 blah. I want you to start letting it out. Start letting it out. And then we're gonna consent to the higher self to send light language through your crown out through your mouth, out through your mouth. And I, again, I want you to just let that energy lead. I want you to let that energy lead. I want you to let that energy speak through you. It doesn't have to make sense. It can sound messy. It can sound whatever ways that your mind is going to label it. We're just gonna let it be that. And I want you to just let that sound out, let that sound out, let that sound out, let the energy lead. Let the energy lead, let the energy move you. And let that be a beautiful art, a beautiful art, as this energy expresses itself through you. There's no right or wrong. Allow it to move through you. Allow it to move through you. You might find again that your body becomes more involved. And you might find that it's just one phrase that you start to say. So often our higher self will bring through one phrase as our as our activating code. But just let it come out. Let it come out. Let the energy speak through you. Let the energy speak through you. Let the energy lead. And you're just allowing it to lead because you, you know that this is of the highest benevolence. This is the language of your soul speaking through you in a way that is bypassing the programs and the conditions of your mind that says this isn't possible, but you are showing yourself here and now that it is. Your soul is showing you here and now that it is. It's gotta speak in this language because there is no other way to get through the limiting constructs. This is the only way to get through. And here on my end, my light language is ser serving and supporting the opening of your unique energy body, right? To receive your own personal codes. 
And if at any point you feel like you need to pause, all right, place your hands on your body, please do. And I am gonna invite you when it feels right to even stand up and just allow for this energy to start to move through the entirety of your limbs. We need to keep making those sounds. I want you just to allow this energy to completely express through your form, through your movement, through your sound. Let your body move in any way that it wants to move. Let this energy move through you. Let it express through you. fun with it. Let it move through you. And then you're going to slowly slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. And then eventually bring your hands to rest on your body. One to the physical or energetic womb, one to heart. We need to just bask in this energy. Experience yourself. Safely connected. Your channel activated. your physical and energetic body illuminated. More of you. It has revealed itself to and through you. Thanking your human self and your higher self for this beautiful co-creation. So I'm going to invite you to slowly, if you're not already, to come back to where you were sitting. Open your eyes. Certainly take a sip of water. And I'd like to hear in the comments, once you come back to your experience, and whether that's, a, a, you know, first and foremost, the light language experience, and then if there were experiences with the particular transmissions, with the light body activation. And so this experience of opening and activating your channel, this is the beautiful framework. And the more that you show up for yourself in this way and cultivate a trust of allowing this energy to move through you, of creating the space where it can, and allowing for this unique expression to come forward Right. This is where that the beautiful healing, those codes of remembrance, the activation of DNA, that greater access to that which once lied dormant is able to come to life for you. And trusting that this experience that we've just had together is part of your building block. Part of your building block. And the more that we meet ourselves and what is seemingly standing in the way we're able to move through that so that the fullness of our expression and those of you that are here, you know on some level that this is available for, through, to you, whether you are actively channeling or not. And through, through these co-creations, this is how we create that level of consistency, sustainability, right? And a greater kind of natural flow with this aspect of us. 
and then we're able to bring it through not only for us but others as well if we so choose because as we know right we can't you know force anyone into an awakening right it's happening organically through these experiences through another soul having an experience with their own energy body with their own soul and that energy is able to speak as we know louder than words beautiful act reading the sacred geometry i felt a huge shift in my energy my hands were pulsating so much for the transmission thank you so much resonated deeply i am so 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 happy to hear that thank you for sharing your experience thank you so much for sharing your experience and actually feeling yeah the pulsing and the energy moving through your hands incredible and so this is as mentioned you know just that first stepping stone that <clears throat> will take you into if you so choose to cultivate this deepened relationship with your light language language channel to really build greater confidence in your abilities as a channel to be able to bring light language clearly through for yourself any way that you choose, any time that you choose. I know that this is possible for you and the way that this, uh, this program has been set up is to bring you through those incremental building blocks. <clears throat> and so what I am going, as many of you know that are here, that as we lead into this level one and two light language program, those of you that are catching this masterclass for the next 48 hours are getting a very special early bird price into this program. And so I'm going to be sharing the link to the landing page where all of the details are there for both levels one and two. You can just do level one if you want to do level one. Absolutely. Um, but level one and level two are going to be there as a very special bundle and package. Each level is only four weeks, but it's four powerful weeks to bring you in touch with that, that deepened confidence within your channel. Read some of these <clears throat> reviews, and if you have any questions about the, the program itself, um, you can either private message me or, or drop them in the comments as well. That was very powerful and a huge release. I saw light language streaming down from my crown. A very sorrowful sound came through and I started crying. I found myself slowly dancing with my hands pressed against my heart as if my higher self was holding and comforting myself. Oh my gosh, Christy, this is so beautiful. I felt the warmth and heaviness in my hands and the palpitations in my heart. This is so incredible. And so I, I want to just reflect back to you, you know, that this experience speaks so powerfully of what can happen when there is that level of conscious consent and co-creation, how it is right there and available to you to move through you. I'm, this makes me so happy to hear and, and what a powerful experience through all of your subtle senses and then translating through into your physical body. And you know, I, it makes a lot of sense that there would be that, that kind of that sorrowful sound and the crying to really alleviate some of that, that density um, to allow for that huge release to occur. And then which then allowed for this expression and this energy to come through. Thank you so much for so honestly sharing your experience. And as you said, as if my higher self were holding and comforting myself, and I would just take out the as if, right? Because that's absolutely what occurred. All right, and I believe it's, is it Eliana? I wanna make sure that I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, beautiful, intense, my heart and hands. The sound's so unreal, incredible. Thank you so much, you're so welcome. Thank you for being open to this experience. Oh, here we go, Linda, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, so beautiful, intense, my heart and my hands. I love it. I would love to hear more about your sound. Whew, and then on to, yes, let's see here. Linda, thank you so much. This was so extremely blissful. I cannot believe how deeply connected my body is to the light language naturally when I let my mind be silent enough. Yes celebrating you for that i mean what a big what a big breakthrough the galactic transmission was clearly the most powerful for me as the angelic message was more subtle connecting with my soul star and simultaneously grounding in helping a lot to make myself clear as a channel yes this is essential i teach this is the essential um, method that i use in my channeling programs 
it is the most effective in so many different ways. So thank you for reflecting that. I'm so glad that it had a powerful and positive impact for you as well. Felt the highest form of peace at the end of your activation. So soothing, so filled with pure and graceful confidence in all, confidence in all of my being. Thank you for putting this into words. I'm loving this so much. And I love the, the I love the, the, I can't believe how deeply connected my body is to the light language naturally. That, that just feels like everything right there. Because even our body knows, right? It just is waiting for this permission. It's waiting for this permission. Our body knows how to allow this energy to lead because it is naturally us. It is naturally us and the remembrance of these natural expressions of light language are stored, right? They're stored as memory within our body. Stored as memory within our body. So grateful that you allowed yourself to have this experience. Thank you all so much for, for being here and for opening your channel and for so clearly expressing your experiences. And I want to reflect that back because even sometimes our mind after experiences like this will still throw in its stories, right? And say, it's not clear, but it is, it is. I was feeling so tired when we started this. Now I just feel the energy of love and inner peace. Yes. And that also speaks, you know, it's like we could list off, right? The, the benefits of light language and, and instead we just get to experience it and then speak the truth of it. Um, because that, that what, a, what a miraculous transformation and having a natural source of energy move through you and completely transform your state of being. And that was within your power, your power, your power, your power, right? Oh, you're so welcome, Christy. Thank you for being here. And again, I, uh, you know, those of you that are here just feeling your energy, feeling the ways that you are already so clearly opening and connecting, I would absolutely be honored to have any of you inside of the light language level one and or level two program where we're really going to get into in level one, strengthening our ability to speak, to sign, and to write light language. And then we're also going to get more refined with the angelic, the galactic, and the elemental frequencies. You'll see on the landing page, and I'm going to drop that link here so that those of you that want to check it out can. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see the layout week to week. Here we go. You'll see the layout week to week. And our focus um, and this is also going to be an opportunity to allow yourself to be witnessed in your channel so for those of you that know that a group experience and a group container is going to allow you to kind of push past those edges um, and especially to be met in a space where you can really be validated and received this is going to be so powerful for you and just inside the container, what I always find to be so miraculous is that exactly what is needed for you, your personal codes will start to come forward um, and reveal themselves. And any of those lingering kind of blocks or resistances or fears are, are able to come to the surface and really be met and you'll be given empowering tools to move through them. And so that's the focus of level one and that's level one is for those that are still are channeling and for those that are desiring to open their channel we're going to then go into level two you'll have one week for those of you that decide to uh, drop into both if you do drop into both that's going to be you know the best you know the best deal in terms of investment um this is you know for the level one program for the next 48 hours, it's going to be 497. So this is an accessible program. Um, and wanting to, you know, when you go into the level two, it's just two payments of 449. I just like laying out all of the details, um, bringing, you know, investment into the conversation. 
and and this is going to be uh, yeah this is going to be an opportunity for you to to drop into either level one or level two and or both and in between you'll have if you do decide to dive into both of these experiences there's going to be one week break in between level one and level two to allow for integration um, and you know inside of this container there will not only be live weekly calls there's going to be one live call a week for four weeks so it's you know enough for you to um, to really engage and, and to to learn and to experience and then give yourself that time to integrate. There will always be integration prompts. There will be a group light language activations. There will be an opportunity for you to connect with each other um, and have ways that you can express and ask questions in between live calls as needed so that you have that support. And then as you move into level two, we get to really start to expand. And so the focuses will be um, on deepening your ability to decode and translate what's coming through your channel. We're gonna work with ancient civilizations. So there will be um, um, exploration in light language, Lemurian light language that you'll learn how to bring through. You'll also learn how to bring light language through from the crystalline codes that were embedded um, in that <clears throat> in that ancient time, but that are connected with your lifetime and soul expression now. We'll also go into Atlantean times and and working with how a lot of these patterns from these fallen ancient an uh, empires um, can still be stored in our energetic memory, and especially as we're approaching such a potent time of spiritual expansion. And so you'll we'll kind of allow some space for for those to to have an opportunity to be recoded. And then we'll be getting into Egyptian and uh, different star consciousnesses, and we'll get deeper into galactic channelings and working with uh, ascended masters. So basically it's like starting to branch out into all of these different light language streams that we can work with and that are most closely working with us at this time so that we can experience again more fully who we are and we can build even greater confidence in our ability to bring um, these streams through and be able to detect their subtle nuances through our channel. So it's such a beautiful way, yeah, not only to experience more of yourself, but to get more of yourself online, more of your personal history and future, uh, which to me, I mean, just that alone has brought so much, so much to my life, so much to my life. And that part of me that can often be kind of obsessed with questioning, um, you know, not only do we have the, that balance of being at peace with the moment and being at peace with the co-creation that is available to us in the moment from a place of not knowing and allowing and just allowing. And then there's this part of discovery where, you know, for the part of us that knows that there's more to the books that we read and that the books that we read can be great, but uh, it's someone else's truth. Right, And so when we actually have our own authentic stories, our own authentic experiences, we are then able to really find that truth and, and calm the part of us that is always questioning and doubting because we have our own personal experience to draw our truth from. And, and ultimately, for those of us that are on a path of truth, right, it comes through personal discovery. And we're gonna give you the beautiful tools in order to do that. Um, how often do I do my one and two courses? Yeah, it's usually, I would say, about every six months or so. Um, I would say every six months because I do weave in uh, other channeling programs uh, and, and mentorship. So I would say that if you're feeling the nudge, now would be the time as I don't have another date for this right now on the schedule, but it will likely be in about six months. Thank you for asking. Yeah, and anyone that has any questions about this experience, of course, you can check out the landing page. Uh, you, I am always open to having a conversation with you, whether it be um, 
you know, maybe it's something you're on the fence about or you want more details about or you want to just know uh, if I feel you would be a fit. And I'm always going to, you know, be here to give you that honest feedback. And so you can always drop a message for me on Facebook, um, Instagram, or there is contact information on that landing page as well. Oh, so I, yeah, I, words just sometimes can't even <laughs> be spoken, but uh, I trust in this beautiful energetic transfer that is happening through this co-creation and, and cannot wait to, to share these programs and these experiences for you because in each and every channeling container, uh, just so much is able to come forward that um, will blow your mind in the most beautiful ways and, and enrich your life in the most miraculous ways. So thank you all so much for being here and for sharing your time and energy, for going on this journey with me, for entrusting me with your time and energy. You're so welcome. And again, my door is open as questions or comments want to come through. And if you're catching this on the replay, again, hashtag replay and the same offer extends to you. So thank you again for being here, sending you so much love and until we connect again.